Okay, so I stumbled across this kind of fun little Google Arts and Culture uh, thing, and it's an experiment for instrument playground, which is fun. So it says, I want to play, and then, you know, you put in whatever you want here. But I was like, oh, I really want to play something that's different. That's weird. That's a sound that I haven't heard. And it has this really cool button that says, need inspiration? Go here. So I did. And it has all of these um, instruments that are a part of it. And so I wanted to pick something I'd never heard of before. So how about a, a sarod? I've never heard of a sarod. And then you have to come up with um, an adjective to go with it. And uh, okay, so maybe dramatic. I want a dramatic sarad. Okay, I have no idea what this is going to sound like. So it's going to be really interesting. And so now it's going to play what it came up with. Maybe. Okay, so you get this sample and this is kind of... Okay, and I gotta say, I like how the Sarad sounds. So then you can click these keys and it kind of gives you like control over it. Now that's an ambient, but you can do a beat, which kind of breaks it up into a much shorter little. Oh, fun, okay. And then a pitch. And in this one, you can kind of choose what you want. and then I'll change the pitch of it. So I don't know anything about a Sarad. So you can also click down here and it'll give you a little bit of information about it, which is fun. Um, I don't have to read it to you guys can probably Google and get the same amount of information that you want to, but I just thought it was really nifty that it did that. And then you can click on this advanced thing. And this is where I'm going to really embarrass myself because I don't know anything about sequencers. Uh, and so I think if you did, obviously you could create something that would be a lot of fun, but let's just, I don't know. I'm going to keep it on ambient and just. And click one note. <laughs> okay, but it's interesting, right? Uh, I mean, you know, it's ambient, so you could probably put it in anything and it would be kind of weird. Obviously, I click the beat. <laughs> you know, oh God, I need somebody else to do this. That's just kind of creepy and fun. Don't know if I will, but maybe I will. Maybe I just came up with like a whole new way to make music because I don't know how to make music. Probably not, but let's just pretend that I did. I was really embarrassed about not being able to figure it out. So I thought maybe I would give ChatGPT a go. Who knows if it's gonna work or not, but let's see if it will. So let's go to a new chat. And I'm just going to say, hey, ChatGPT, uh, or look at, look at, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> look at the attached image. And then let's attach the image. Okay, so this is what ChatGPT responded to me. Basically, it said, uh, it gave me a little bit of information, which is interesting. It said that the pitch is the vertical axis of the grid, which I sort of got that part. But then it said the timing is the horizontal axis. And you know what? I didn't really get that part. I figured you'd always have to have something in every uh, every block of the horizontal. So that was good to know. And then it just told me to make a very simple scale, basically. So let's go back and let's try that. Let's clear all of this mess. And then it says, start with C. So C is all the way down here. And we can see that by clicking over here during, on this pitch one. So I'm gonna go back to ambient and I'm just gonna go. Do, 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 do. And I guess I'm gonna come down. Okay. And I guess I could get rid of every other note. I don't 
don't know what it did. It definitely sounds a little bit better than what I did before, but... Okay, that's fun though. We could use that at something. Maybe I'll record it. Well, that was fun. I'm glad I made myself a little bit less of an idiot for you guys. And um, yeah, I guess see you next time when I play with something else. Bye.